Welcome back to LGBT Snapshots. I am your host, Chad. It is Wizard of Oz week, and today is Fiction Day. In The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch of the West doesn't appear until much of the book is already complete. She rules from her beautiful castle in the Winky Country, one of the lands of Oz, while the Wicked Witch of the East and the Evil Witch, Mombi, rule in other parts of the land. The witch desperately wants the powerful silver shoes from Dorothy's feet. The witch is an old crone with only one eye, but she can see impossible distances with it like a telescope, and she wears a patch over the other eye. She uses a magic crown called the Golden Cap to control flying monkeys, and she also controls swarms of bees, flocks of crows, and packs of wolves, using them to attack Dorothy and her companions. Wielding an umbrella and some rudimentary magic, the witch captures Dorothy and her friends before melting away when a bucket of water is flung on her. She has never appeared in the future Oz books. The witch is never named, although she is called Bastinda by some future authors, and she's most famously known as Elphaba in the Wicked series by Gregory Maguire, her name being based on L. Frank of L. Frank Baum, the original author, so Elphaba. In the film The Wizard of Oz, the witch is changed vastly, with green skin and a flying broom, though she is similarly power-obsessed and evil, though in this case she wants revenge for the murder of her sister, the Wicked Witch of the East. She has different magic and the flying monkeys, but no eye patch and no other animals to control, and she only appears on screen for 12 minutes in the film and meets a similar fate, melting in water. The witch appeared in several stage productions of The Wizard of Oz over the years, as well as in many other books and films in various adaptations, but it wasn't until the Wicked series and the subsequent Broadway musical that she became a relatable character. Gregory Maguire combines both versions of the witch in his portrayal of Alpha by giving her the last name Throp. He gives a richly complex character with a broken childhood who's ostracized for her green skin and her love of animals, and who fights for justice using extreme means in a very complex Oz, a land whose government is torn apart by humans thinking they are superior to talking animals. Elphaba falls in love and has children, lives a lonely, isolated life, and it is hinted that she has romantic feelings for Glinda that are not reciprocated. In the end, she melts in water once again. It is the musical version of Wicked that has launched Elphaba into the status of LGBT icon. Originally played by Adina Menzel, Elphaba sings the powerful song Defying Gravity, in which she powerfully explores shedding convention and the expectations of the world and becoming who you are truly, with conviction and love for yourself. In addition, there are hints in the musical that Glinda and Elphaba had romantic feelings for each other and that perhaps they could have found love with each other if things had been different for them in this world. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you liked today and learned something. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and we will see you back here tomorrow for Gay Day when we discuss the author Gregory Maguire himself. Thank you.